Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is my first SCSI device ever. That's right. In all the years of owning and operating computer equipment, I've never had a single SCSI device. I've had plenty of scurvy devices over the years because none of them had enough vitamin C, but SCSI is fast. It's one of the reasons why they decided to add that as a feature to the TS459 Pro, a NAS device that is capable of hot swapping SCSI drives, up to four of them, and also supports RAID arrays from zero all the way up to six. This product was sent to me to review by QNAP. Go.tagjag.com slash QNAP uh, is where you can find more information about this device and the other products that they make. Uh, if you drop me a line, chris at perillo.com, I'll, I'll see what I can do about saving you money on any product that QNAP happens to make. Now, I'm no stranger to NAS devices, network attached storage, uh, being able to uh, have a, a hard drive there on your network, whether you have a, a business or a, a home network, you likely have or want, more importantly, a network attached storage device. So why would you want this one? Well, I've already mentioned SCSI, it's fast, RAID, so you can set it up to have redundancy with the data that you're putting here inside the system. But there's a lot more to this thing. A lot more. You could back up using rsync, which is a protocol that would allow you to back up over the network to another device that supports that protocol. It's got a file server built in, backup server built in, FTP server built in, surveillance station support, meaning you can plug in a camera and record directly from it. Web server built in, printer server built in, supports IPv6, instant SMS and email alerts, SNMP, which is the simple network management protocol, basically pulling the device to get information about uh, you know what's going on. So uh, you could also schedule the power on and off, wake on LAN. It's compatible with Linux, Mac, and Windows. It's got an Intel Atom processor in there, running at 1.66 gigahertz, approximately a gig of RAM. The list just goes on and on. So. Why wouldn't you want it? Well, you're thinking, Chris, I would want this, but I have a couple of external hard drives that I already have. Oh, really? Oh, cool, because uh, there are four USB ports here on the back and two eSATA ports on the back as well. And they've also got a single USB port on the front in case you've got a uh, USB stick uh, that you want to pop in there and copy data from. It's easy to get to. And then you're thinking, well, Chris, yeah, the drives are hot swappable, but what if I don't want anybody swapping my drives? Okay, fine. You can lock them down with a key. See, I don't have anything plugged in, but if I reach around the right way, I could easily pop out a drive, even if it was turned on, and everything would be swafe. <laughs> the swafe, I think, is the, the word that they use uh, when uh, something is hot swappably safe. Now, when it is hot swappable, that means it can be powered on hot with power and swapped out. There we go. Uh, I am more than happy to have this on my home network. And by the way, they've also got a VGA port on the back. And, and just in case you're, you're wondering if it was a stunt double behind the box, no, not really. It was me. There's the, there's the VGA port and the, the USB port, the dual gigabit LAN connections, uh, or I guess the ports. You, know, you would connect it, and then it would become a connection to the network. Uh, it's very clean, too. Look at this. About the size of a toaster, really. Uh, I wouldn't stick any bread in it, mind you, unless, of course, your bread is money. And that's what it's all about. It's a business class machine. And if your business operates... On the concept of making money, well, you want to make sure your business is up. And if you have all your data for your business on one computer, what happens when someone steals that computer? Or the computer crashes and the hard drive fails or uh, something catastrophic happens and you can't get to the information that your business depends on. You would have wished that you had some kind of network attached storage that was backing up the data automatically and then was replicating that data elsewhere on your network so that the possibility of you losing business because you've lost your data becomes minimized. And that's the idea. So if you're a power user or a business that has information that you keep on drives, and I can't imagine any business that doesn't these days, you'll want to think long and hard about what kind of device that you use to back up your data too. One of the reasons why this is a, a bit different than the other network attached storage devices I've seen 
A, it's SCSI compatible, so it's going to be fast. RAID, built right in. It's compact. It's fast. You can access it over the network using Linux, Mac, or Windows. Uh, they've got let's see, USB ports, VGA, uh, eSATA. There's the fan there on the back. Hot swappable, so you don't have to worry about having the drives locked into the actual network attached storage device, which most of them are. Oh, and for all you Mac users, Time Machine compatible. Gotta like that. So again, more information about this particular product can be found at go.tagjag.com slash QNAP. Uh, I'm very happy to have this on my home network. Being a power user, being someone who has a lot of data flying around. I mean, I do a lot of videos. Where else am I going to put them where I know that if, if something goes wrong, I'll be able to get to them again. It's all about redundancy, people. Oh, yeah. No, no. You could configure an old PC uh, to, to, to act like this, but then you'd have to get the right software and you'd have to get the right configuration set up. And then even then, would you have the right case so that the drives were hot swappable? Oh, God. For, you could do it. You could do it. But is it time money? Right? As a business? You know, where you're making bread? To go back to that analogy. There we go. Came within this box, the TS459 Pro. It's available right now. My email address, again, chris at perillo.com. I'm always looking for the latest in hardware, especially hardware that uh, can actually save me from potential frustration. Preventative medicine is still medicine. <clears throat> Geeks.perillo.com is where the tech enthusiasts are often posting their latest reviews of products and offering tips and suggestions for everybody else who happens to stop by. My blog, chris.perillo.com. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash chrisperillo. Facebook.com slash chrisperillo is easily as accessible from your web browser. Not really backing up my Facebook data, but to tell you the truth, I don't know if anything I'm posting on Facebook is really worth backing up. Eight dinner. That was me playing with an imaginary device and posting an update. Get it? Cause Maybe you like living on the edge. Maybe you don't like backing up your data. Suit yourself. Me? I have a business to run, so I need something that will help me run my business. <clears throat> You're more than welcome to join us in the chat room. We are typically talking tech. And even if I'm not here in this chair, uh, people in the chat room are certainly hanging out. Typically, though, uh, talking tech. Hardware, software, services, asking questions, getting answers. And it depends on the time of day. Sometimes there are more geeks. Sometimes there are fewer geeks. Sometimes the chat in the video actually freezes, locks up because there's so much activity happening. You're more than welcome to join us, though. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right here with a live video feed at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.